Gosh, I hope that was us hitting her, and not poor Prior Mabel. Oh uh, shit! Gosh, her super strength attack! It's too damn much! Come on, get him! Get him, Scampy! Yeah! Oh no, Scampy! Oh! Oh god, she's too strong! Oh god! And the heal up is very powerful. Alright, let's go for the archer first. Wow, look like. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wow! The oh! We've entered the fucking Twilight Zone. Hey gang! What's good? Welcome back to Oblivion. Oh god. We're here in the Wayne and Priory. We're hanging out in the old Wayne and House? What What is this place even called? Wayne and Lodge. There you go. Wayne and Lodge. We're here. Look, hey, look. Check it out. This this must have uh, respawned or reset or something. Because remember, we straight up knocked all this stuff all over the dang place. And guess what? Jeez, it's all back. Back in action or something. Didn't we do that? Did we do that? Or am I just, like, imagining something else from, like... No, we, we definitely did that. We had one where we totally knocked all this shit all over the place. Didn't we? Maybe I re-recorded that because something went wrong. I don't know. Jesus. I could have sworn we did that. But anyway, you'll notice we've got a level here. In between videos, I was like, eh, we're about uh, three-fourths of the way to the next level. We may as well do some preparation. Figure stuff out. That way we don't over-level too much. Because already, we're about to over-level just a tad bit here. Just as all the previous ones. Man, thank God we picked the thief. It gives us even additional leeway. Um, for the old over-leveling. Already there's a fair amount. But, uh, the Thief, even better for giving you extra leeway for over-leveling. Because, I mean, it's always better to over-level, and, uh, not so better to under-level, right? Anyway, we're gonna rest up here for one hour. Boom. See what we get. We get level five, and, yeah, here we go. See what we get. What am I saying? I already tested it out, right? Uh, you have ascended to level five! Everything you do is just a bit easier. More instinctive and more satisfying. It is as though you had suddenly developed keen senses and instincts. And you know what? Hey, that's pretty damn true, isn't it? Let's grab five in strings, five in int, and five in endurance. The most important stat of all. Ba boom There we are. Nice. All right, let's see. Our new carry weight should be... Yeah, 275. Awesome. What's our health currently at, by the way? 152. Getting up there. Getting up there. All right, let's uh, whip this out. So uh, in between videos, I basically went and punched a shitload of crabs and um, punched up a whole lot of, uh, well, not a whole lot, but two of the bandits that will be at the locale where we are headed, which is, as we said, all the way back at Vilverin. We're going on back to Vilverin. Kate, we have to go back to Vilverin. And we're going fucking back. And what do you know, Joe? It's going to be clear of bandits because they had respawned here. I was like, hey, what a great opportunity for me to just train up. Didn't loot him, I don't think. I don't think I actually did loot him. Yeah, here. Bam. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's pop on top of old Prior Mabel, and let's see. Oh, God! What? What the fuck? <laughs> what is this, dude? Oh, my God! Is this from a mod? Have they always been able to do this? Oh, my God, dude! Check this shit out! <laughs> Oh my gosh, perfect opportunity. We're going... <laughs> Look at this shit. This is great. Oh my god. I want to do this in real life, man. I mean, maybe this is kind of animal cruelty in real life, but... Uh, let's let's have like an artificial fish, right? Jeez, look at this. This is amazing. Holy shit. Oh my god, we're still in combat. Oh, okay, it's a mud crab. I was worried it was another bandit respawn or something. Look at us, we're just out here wrestling seafaring beasts. <laughs> just the perfect way of a pirate, right? That's exactly what pirates love to do, baby. Just punching sea animals, marine biology, boom. I'm a biologist, how do you like me now? ba -booya. ya All right, let's heal up for a bit. There we go. Oh, nice. Our fists are covered in the slime and disgusting entrails of a fish and a crab. My god, what all is next? All right. Let us set our marker here for, uh, let's see, if I even remember how to do that. There we go. Shift-click. Boom. The blue road. Oh, I wonder if it will be blue. 
Maybe it'll be like a sort of bluegrass situation, you know? It's not technically blue, is it? The grass? Oh, look, there's one of the dead crabs that I had punched the crap, the crap out of. But uh, the blue grass is... It, it looks sort of blue from afar, doesn't it? It's not technically, like, super blue, but... It looks... It has a bit of a blue hint to it. It's not pure blue, but... It's it's kind of like a, a mixture of a green and blue, right? Very, uh, very beautiful if you like grass. If you, <laughs> if you like grass... Hmm, check out that blue grass. Now, this is actually one of the areas where, look, the draw distance is actually... Oh, gosh. Is actually kind of not going great because we can see right up this hill. And we can see all the pop-in. But you know what? It is what it is, ain't it? Oh, should we check inside this ruin right here? We do need some more Shadow Banish wine, don't we? Perhaps we should. Maybe this fort will have what we need. Look, there's even like a little stable. Fult, you're a sec? You're a sec. Alright, well shit, let's go on inside Fort Eurasec, right? Here, before I forget, like always, <laughs> let's actually mark it. Since we are actually going into this one to plunder it. Alright, let's whip out our uh, sweet-ass axe. We've got Scampy at the ready. Check it out, there's a gobbo up ahead. We're gonna plunder this shit and hopefully find some of that sweet, sweet Shadow Banish wine. Look at this, we're really making... Doing some work on our... Uh, beginning opening quests, aren't we? Look, look at this guy. Jeez. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's not doing much damage at all, is he? Yeah, come on, stab me. Nope, okay, fine. I'll stab you, you idiot. Wow, he had a dagger, but he's just opted for the claws. Bold tactic. Alright, let's grab the uh, arrows. Do we want a dagger? Eh, no thanks. Eh, too much hassle. Alright. Let's poke around here. Let's see. Is there anything at this nice little quaint stable? Gosh, look at this. This is fucking beautiful, isn't it? I mean, this looks kind of weird. It looks like, um... Look, can we actually see through the top there? No. But it looks like this was part of an in-game model, and they just uh, haphazardly threw this together real quick. Like, oh shit, we're... We gotta ship real soon. We're going gold. We gotta ship next week. So they just, like, took an existing model and deleted the top of it, right? <laughs> it doesn't look very... Very weathered like you would expect. But hey, you know what? I like those sort of, uh, uh, sort of, hmm, slapdash jobs, right? Oh shit, check out this little, uh, overturned rowboat. Let's check this out real quick, too. Like, um, I saw, I saw a post recently about Skyrim, how some of the, uh, some of the short tables in there are actually, uh, just bookcases that are put through the floor. They're clipping through the floor and steadied there. And it gives the illusion of it being a table, but in reality, it's just a bookcase with the sort of, uh, uh, bookcase functionality removed. And I love those sorts of ingenious little things, those little clever workarounds, right? That's, that's called, like, a, that's called a life hack, right? Man, look at that. They're all hacking everybody's lives away. Damn. <laughs> Someone call the cops. Jeez. Um, there goes the old guard. Just going by as he's listening to me killing a whole bunch of gobos. I wonder what the guards think of adventurers. You'd think there would be some sort of interesting, um, uh, guard sort of, uh, policy on, on adventurers. Like, I don't know, like, at some point, do you, if you see someone who's like a freelance adventurer going out there, are you inclined to help them? You could, you could understand that there's a lot of weird, uh, gray area there with all that, right? Maybe they just say, well, you know, it's up to you. If you decide to go out there and plunder dungeons and stuff, hey, you're taking a risk, and we can't be guaranteed to help you out. Man, you could imagine a lot of bad things going on. Speaking of which, do you think... How come there's no, like, adventurer's insurance companies? Holy shit. Maybe that's something I ought to start up. Old Buccaneer Lyle Schnubb's uh, adventurer's life insurance. Jeez. My gosh, we could make a killing on that, couldn't we? Here, let's heal up. There's actually an enemy's right inside the front gate. There we go. Now let's quick save. Oh, oh shit. Is it a Ratulon already? I think so. To me, Ratulon! Ooh, God. There's a dead dude. Good God, what is after us? It's got me a little on edge. Oh, shit. By the way, look at this sort of death fucking trap, huh? Alright, let's quick save in case this gets us. Uh, uh, good Lord. There we go, dead marauder. Got breaches. Eh, th these things are pretty crappy, aren't they? I mean, we'll take them. Why the heck not? Worst case scenario, we just drop the chest piece and stuff. Alright, there we go. Deftly evaded. Let's quick save. 
It must be some sort of Ratulon. Yeah, look at that. A Ratulon 500 right on the other side of the door. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, my goodness! Hello, rat! Oh, there we go. Leveling up that block. That's what we like. Oh, shit, look. This rat set up a sort of campsite. Oh, my god, this rat is kind of a genius, don't you think? Jeez. Look. Ooh, my god, this rat is also a cannibal. Huh. Well, that's disturbing as shit. Alright. Sort of poke on around through here. Look at this. Whole bunch of ladders? People were digging for stuff, too. Trap door to Fort Irisac Company Billets? What is a billet? Or a billet? Is it French? It could be. A recently used pickaxe. Let's consult the mini-map here. Oh, shit. What the hell are we getting ourselves into in this place? This looks cryptic as hell. Let's pop on down here and say hello. My gosh. Oh, look at that. There's a whole bunch of logs there set up for, as some kind of uh, insidious trap. All right. Let's pull out our, our smackers. There we go. There's a gabo down there doing a fucking patrol. Screaming. Some sort of wild scream. Let's see. Maybe we can time it to where this gabo sees us. And then we straight up throw down a whole bunch of shit and try and get him. Look at this. Come on, Gabo. Come over this way. I'm ready to get you. Look at this. Gabo. Come over here. Come on, Gabo. Gosh, notice also another Gabo up there. Oh, geez, this Gabo is too damn crafty. Gosh, this place is swarming with Gabos. Is this like a Gabo base? Oh my god, I think it is. I very much... Th oh, god. Who's shooting us? It's not him. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! That one has, like, a saber! Whoa! Here we go, to me, Scampy. That's right, defensive maneuvers. Uh. Here we go. Maybe these Gabos are pirates. The Pirate King Gabo Nation. Damn. No, I don't think it is actually a, a saber at all. I think it's just the way his weird clawed hand was looking. Ugh, disgusting. There we go, get another Scampy out. Start kicking some Scampy ass. Boom! Look at this. Oh shit, where the fuck- Oh my god! We just punched him into the fucking wall! Holy shit, we have the strength of a thousand men now, for sure! Damn, dog. Alright. Well, let's do a quick, uh, reconnoiter here before that dude comes up and is pissed as shit. Because, man, you know that's gonna happen. Let's see, should we try and, like, set off another trap here? Is this, like, a gabo trap? Look at this. Ha <laughs> Fire in the hole, you idiot! There's no one down there. <laughs> oh shit. There is the ranged Gabo, okay. Let's see, can we summon Scampy? Oh my god! Whoa! Alright, holy shit, it's a showdown battle royale. Oh my god. Look at this shit, Scampy is down there doing some fucking work. Uh-oh. Is this guy gonna gun us down from down there? No, okay, Scampy has got him occupied. Woo! If I say as an arrow whizzes by my head. Alright. Good lord, this is pretty dangerous. We've somehow managed to aggro like a... 500 different Gabos. Oh my god. Truly, the Gabo Nation is pissed as shit at us for plundering their fantastic Ow. treasures. Hopefully we can evade them and get a nice rest up, huh? That's what I'm thinking. Get some rat meat going on. What do we have over here? It's, we're still in enemy land. Oh shit, is that a Mega Gabo in there? Oh, damn, dude. Let's check this out. Potion of Dedication? Weak Healing? Sure, yeah, give me all that. See, a sack full of nothing. A barrel that we cannot loot? Okay, let's quick save again. Let's see, that looks like a giant gabo, doesn't it? Is that like a mega gabo? Oh shit, I thought that was a gabo over there on the left. But no, this is actually it right here. Uh oh. Oh shit. He's wearing some sort of like Skyrim helmet. <gasps> He's a goblin chef! Oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> looks like we just served up a steaming hot plate of kick ass! Ho 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 ho! Man, he was cooking a flower with flour. Ugh. Creative. Alright, can we rest up? Oh my gosh, no we can't. This oh, there we go. Whew! Finally, this place is chock full of goblin horrors, huh? Stow away our weapon and whip out a torch. Ooh, gosh, yeah, also eating people, it seems. Man, the goblin kill count really is off the freaking charts. So many dead people at the hands of these gobos, right? Dear lord, rat meat, calipers, man, I bet those taste great. White seed pod. Restore strength and water breathing. A carrot, an onion, some corn, and more onions, a covered pot. Alright. 
A little tiny candle there. My god, look at that cute little ass candle. <laughs> that thing is tiny. Look at that. Oh, oh, we can't even have like a freaking uh, spooky skeleton thing going on where we put the, the skull right over the candle. Hmm. Maybe that's what they were going for, the Gabo Chef. Maybe that was his master plan all along. Just to have like a little fun macabre area. Alright. Well, let's head the heck on out of here. Jeez. To the next area. Finally got some healing up. Always good. Making our way through the old Fort Urasek. Oh my god, look at all of the blood down here. Was that is that from us? I don't think so. I think this is just some sort of like This is where they chop them up. This is the goblin's butcher chamber, huh? Oh my god. Is this is there something bad here? Look, there's a trap right there. There's some like little pea shooters in the wall. But over here, is there actually anything that's going to get me? There is a potion of healing. Ooh, gosh, a scythe. Oh my god, they were like scything the crap out of people, huh? Some venison. Ooh, that's good stuff. Oh shit, there's actually a lot of gold here. Oh my gosh, look at this. I almost didn't see it because it blended in so well with the floor. But look. Uh-oh, you hear that? The lack of music, a very disturbing silence. Okay, there it is. It's just looping around. <laughs> I thought for sure we had some something terrible was about to befall us. All right, let's go around this way. I'm very scared of crossing right through there. <laughs> All right, what do you have, Gabo, dude? Uh, just an iron war axe? Eh, no thanks. All right, let's quick save again. Gosh, I'm I'm a little nervous here. It's got to be said. I'm quick saving left and right. All right, where does this thing go? Huh? Oh, where did you go? There's a man in there. See you. Oh my god. Jeez, he's pissed as shit. Oh, a guard sack. Urasek lock-up key. Oh, shit, is this like a guy who got locked up in here from the Gabos? Oh, my God. Hello? Hey, I'm here. Oh, no, he, he doesn't want to be saved at all. Scampy, mess that guy up. Oh, shit. There's a full, like, army armada down here. What's the matter? Is the baby gonna <laughs> oh gosh, I'm going to cry! Please, no! I cry easily and bruise even more easily! There we go. Ugh. Is Scampy dead? Is poor old Scampy dead and gone? Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking Scampy giving it to him, the old one too. Alright, let's grab some of her stuff. Awesome. Jeez, it's really heavy, isn't it? Here, let's actually stow that. Well, let's repair up and then stow it, right? Look at this. We're thinking, uh, we're thinking on the go here. Oh, we can't actually do it while we're in combat. All right, fair enough. We're just going to drop this uh, one that we repaired up. Boom. All right, Scampy, good job. You want to go in there and get the other guy? He wants to end it here, Scampy. Isn't that exciting? Don't you want to... <laughs> Jesus, Scampy, now you won't even let me get in. All right. Jeez, where is this guy? Oh, jeez. Oh, what's the matter? Is the baby gonna cry? Oh my god, everyone keeps making fun of me! Oh no! Oh god! Jeez! <laughs> oh my god, he got pissed? Alright. Gosh, let's get out a skeleton. Let's corner him off right here. Whoa! Get him, skelly man! Get him! Whoa! <laughs> look at this freaking guy! Jeez. Alright, look at this. Skelly man is about to do some freaking work. Look, I'm very fearful, because apparently he can one-shot- Oh, shit, he's healing up. But apparently he can just one-shot us with his super cold blast. His freezing blast of the Reaper's chilling touch. Oh, my God. Look, he's, he's getting pretty fucking wild here. Taking out our skeleton, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, come on. Hit me with your weapon. There we go. Ow! Oh, my God, Skelly Man, you saved my life. Did you see it? He was charging up a gigantic super blast! God, you can't see shit, can you? Because you don't have eyeballs. Well, just trust me. Just listen with your non-existent ears. Maybe I'll communicate it through him via, like, some sort of... I don't know. How do you even communicate with a skeleton? Magic? Perhaps. Alright, because, I mean, you can't really do a whole braille situation now, can you? Because it's not like he has skin to feel it. I don't know. Maybe you can feel the bumps and feel, like, uh, vibrations and feedback that way? I have no idea. Oh, look. Marauder Battle Mage is what he was. Fair enough. He very much was one, wasn't he? Alright, let's heal up for an hour. Whew. Get rested up. 
Get some of that good juice back. Anything else up in here? Look at this. What is this? What in the world is this? Is this like a little tiny drinking trough? It sure as shit looks like one. Alright. Oh, that's actually a bed. That is not a goblin right there. Eh. Man, this guy was in here sleeping on a goblin's crotch. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Alright, sure, man. Jeez, I guess... Hmm. Maybe these, these people must have been prisoners of the goblins, right? But, whenever the goblins would come in here and try to, like, give them food or something... They would slay the goblins on sight. So, always the goblin guard had to keep them locked up in there. I don't know. Jeez, maybe the goblins were preparing to cook them as well. Maybe that's exactly what was going down here. I feel like that is definitely the case. Alright. Jeez, let's get the heck on out of here, huh? Let's see. Oh, jeez, it's a, it's a damn maze. Let's see, I think, th yeah, we have to go up, right? Up and over this, uh... Oh, look, there's one of the logs that we knocked over. Well, wow, it's created this weird sort of, uh... Bridge situation. Oh, my God! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my God! <laughs> I had no idea that that could happen! Wow! All right. Well, look, we have just thrown caution to the wind and jumped right across the, uh... What do you call it there? Oh, my God! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> Apparently, it could not take the combined weight of one log and me in my full metal armor. Huh? There we go. Jesus, what else is gonna fall apart, huh? Who knows? I mean, this should be safe, right? These goblins were on it. Right? Maybe that's why those goblins didn't want to stand there, because they knew of that trap, right? Can we actually pick up this log? Ugh, yeah, man, we are buff as hell, dude. Shit. Alright, oh shit, is that dagger? No, it's rusty iron. Okay. I was about to say, maybe that dagger is... Oh, shit, look, another gabo. I was about to say, maybe that uh, that dagger is actually made of silver, which would be fantastic for us. All right, let's go, dude. Oh, man, this gabo actually has a shield. Good thing he's dumb as hell and just letting me flank the crap out of him, huh? <laughs> stupid gabo! Stupid, stupid gabo! Boom! Oh, shit, he's got a lot of strength, though, it's gotta be said. Oh, shit, there's, like, chains and shit coming down, trying to fall into me. Oh, my gosh, he's very speedy as well. Whew! Get him, Skelly Man! Get him! Gosh, you're not hitting him. You're not hitting him at all. Oh, shit. He was just waiting for me to attack. That's, like, my move. Oh, my God, Skelly Man, save me! Oh, shit! Dude, now this guy is definitely the boss. He's way stronger than the, uh, the other one, huh? Than the old who's a what's it, dude? Alright, get him! Get him, get him, get him! There we are. Oh, shit. Good thing he's only got a dagger, so his reach ain't great. There we go. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is fun. Man, he's powerful! There we go. Get another one in there. Another scampy. Get him, scampy! Yeah! Nice! Whew. All right, I think that's a full-ass clear, isn't it? Dope. All right, what did this guy even use on us? A steel dagger and a steel shield. Can we carry that? Let's see. Yeah, we can. All okay, right, dope. Great, great, great. All right, now we gotta be careful here because there's actually a hidden trap. That's creepy. All right. Oh, shit, is this... Oh, it's just ale. It's just plain-ass ale. All right, well, that's disappointing. How about up in here? Wow, a jade sapphire ring. Pretty valuable. Poison of wariness. Eh. Lesser soul gem, gold, and lockpick. Okay. Well, we are definitely weighed down now. Here, let's repair up. Get those nice repair levels going. Let's see. Let's repair up this. Wow, look at that. We're flying through the, <laughs> the everything. There we go. Nice. All right, we definitely need to go back and visit Rashida to pick up some more of those uh, fantastic hammers of hers. All right, let's drop this sucker on the floor. Boom, we don't need that. Too heavy. All right. Let's see, how do how do we even disarm this thing? There's not like a trap. This is just another one of those like uh hidden laser sensor ones, isn't it? Let's see. Yep, we can't uh we can't drag it. This is like his fucking throne room, isn't it? Or maybe I don't know. Was this the goblin's throne room or this skeleton's throne room? I think it could have been either or. Jeez. What <laughs> What the hell? How are we supposed to get past this? Uh, no? Nothing? Can we hit it? 
No. How did we manage to get it to fall down before? Do we just need to, like, go in this chair? Ah! Woo. Oh, that's what this is. I see. This is an execution chair. Oh, my God. That's how they knock their noggins clean off. Look at this guy. He's been collecting them. Potion of strength as well. Jeez, that is gnarly shit. These goblins were fucked up. My god, look at that. Ooh, there's like a scratch there at the floor. Oh, jeez, someone was trying to claw their butt apart. Oh my god. Alright. Should we take all this ale? I mean, why not? It's five gold for one, right? Why the heck not? Seems like a freaking bargain to me, right? Alright, let's heal- Oh, well, you know what? Let's- Let's sit in our chair, right? Let's- You know. Ah, there we go. Ah, how do we look? Oh, jeez. We can't- Can't exactly- Ugh, there we are. Oh, uh, there we go. Nice. Oh, uh, there we go. Is that a screenshot? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> na 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 How do I get up? There we go. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where the hell else do we need to go? Is that a full clear? Well, that looks like a full clear, doesn't it? All right, let's get on out of here. Hopefully this doesn't fall down. I'm just going to jump just to be sure. I'm a little scared by that. Huh? Actually, you know what? We need to just jump on down here, don't we? We don't even need to mess with all this. Look, yeah, because this is how it's set up. Actually, we need to wait. Let's wait for one hour and get our stuff back, right? Ooh, good thinking. Got too excited from the old uh, throne. Sitting on a throne, you know, having a freaking fun time. Just <laughs> looking at skulls, counting skulls, kicking around strength potions, talking to dead gobos and stuff. Just having a good time here in Fort Urasek. This is the only fort that has a peculiar name, isn't it? The other ones had, like, relatively, um, mundane names. Well, not mundane, but, like, English. They had English names, right? I don't know what, uh... Is the Eurosect, like, goblin speak or something? Oh, shit. Is this a friendly rat? No, it is not. All right. <sighs> Jeez, man, they really do leap at you, don't they? My god. All right. There we go. Man, uh, what is even the story of this? So much of this fort is right underneath that. Gosh, look at all this. And this guy, jeez. Looks like a freaking, uh, person who met a grisly fate in the old Dark Soul, huh? Alright, to the Heartlands. Fantastic. Alright. Oh, jeez, what is that? Is that a guard up and over there? Yeah, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? Okay, let's wait for about three more hours. That way we can sort of go around, uh, in the golden hours. There we go, yes. Yeah, 7 a.m., waking up in the morning, gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. Alright, let's quick save. Hey, Prior Mabel, I've been in there for about a day. Man, I hope you had a good time out here grazing on these beautiful plants. Hopefully they're the kind that you can eat and they're not going to make you terribly, terribly sick. and just have to take major dumps all along the way. <laughs> it's like that fucking episode of Seinfeld, isn't it? With, uh, when Kramer is, like, feeding baked beans to this horse, <laughs> his horse-drawn carriage. And it's just, like, taking these massive, terrible dumps all over the place. <laughs> God, what a great show. What a great freaking show classic. Man, I wish I had Hulu that way I could actually, like, watch it instead of just randomly catching it on reruns and stuff. Oh, shit. Who are these folks out here? Are they bandits? Hey! Are you guys bandits? Oh, they're bandits. Alright. Let's pull up here real close. Alright, Scampy to me! Ba-boom! I swear to God, if you hit Prior Mabel's ass, you douche. Don't you swing that big hammer right up Prior Mabel's booty. Oh, gosh. Ugh. Oh, gosh. I'm very fearful of these two-handed users. You should look at her pelting Prior Mabel, and Prior Mabel is just taking it. Man. Here, Scampy again. Oh, my God. Ugh. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Prior Mabel's getting in on this fucking action, too. Oh my god, Scampy is hitting Prior Mabel. This might be it for Prior Mabel. This might be it for me. For fuck's sake. This is pretty damn intense. Oh, gosh. The two-hander is too much. Here, let's get in real damn close this time. Boom. There, you like that? Man, the magic stuff is not great for us, is it? When she healed up, we almost had her. Gosh, I hope that was us hitting her. And not poor Prior Mabel. Oh, uh, shit! Gosh, her super strength attack! It's too damn much! Come on, get him! Get him, Scampy! 
Yeah. Oh no, Scampy. Oh. Oh God, she's too strong. Oh God. And the heal up is very powerful. All right, let's go for the archer first. Wow, look like. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wow, we are the. Oh, we've entered the fucking twilight zone. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Double prayer, Mabel action! Let's fucking go, dude! What the hell is even going on? Oh my god. <laughs> the uh, fucking tips of reality are coming to an end. Oh my god. What the hell is going on, dude? There are two prior Mabels. This is fucking too much for me, dude. But this prior Mabel must belong to like an alternate reality version of myself. Because notice how it's technically stealing. Jeez. I don't know, dude, but you're really impressing the shit out of me by beating my ass apart. Ugh. Jeez! Whoa! Look at that fucking heal! It's too good! Oh. What? Oh, she just ended combat real quick there. Man, shit's going weird in this fight. Mitch. Oh, God. Alright, alright. Oh, man, how is there- There is just now another prior Mabel here. There is just another prior fucking Mabel here. All right, here we go. Let's try and end this fucking archer. Let's kill this archer before she can do much work. That way we can all be focused on the hammer lady. Oh, oh. Yeah, Prior Mabel, give it to him. Uh. Come on, Prior Mabel, flank him. Oh my God, look. We did that one real easy. Oh my gosh. Oh, the change of tactics was real good. Look, she didn't even get a chance to drink her damn potions. That is great. Oh my god. Whew. That is exhausting. What the hell are we gonna do now? We have two fucking prior Mabels. What a weird fucking world we're living in. Man. I feel like this is some sort of divine sign, right? Jeez, I'm Pete. I've never seen anything like this happen before. <laughs> Not one, but two prior Mabels. Wow. This must be how how baby horses get made. You just quick load and instantly, bam, there you go. What the fuck? That is the weirdest shit ever. <laughs> you know, I wonder if we'll ever see anything like that again. That is, that is mind blowing to me that that even happened. How the fuck? Jeez, how how does all this weird shit keep happening to us, huh? How? What the hell? All right, let's wait up here. Some sort of blessing curse that I have, I guess. Jeez. All right. Well, uh, other prior Mabel, do you do you want to come along or something? No. Okay. I'll I'll see. Oh, what the hell? Who are you? Who are you? Hey. Greetings, Dunma. Herminia Sinna. What? What's up? Who are you? Uh, you. Can talk about Hieronymus Lex? He's that Imperial Watch Captain that's always chasing after the Grey Fox and the Thieves Guild. Oh. Chasing after shadows, if you ask me. Mm. The Thieves Guild probably doesn't exist, and it's a sure bet the Grey Fox does. Oh, whoops. Sorry, my bad. I accidentally clicked through it. But yeah, sounds like something uh, someone would say if they were in the fucking Thieves Guild, huh? <laughs> Tell me a rumor. The Fighters Guild is recruiting again. Not a bad way to make some money if you've got the stones for it. All right, Herminia Lack or Cinna, I'll I'll see you. I guess it's weird that you're out here. Do you have like some sort of secret item on you? Perhaps. Is this your horse? Oh look, her house key. How? Thief! You won't get away with Whoa! this. Whoa! No! No! I'm not. I didn't do it. Oh my gosh! Did that count against us? No. Okay. I was just looking. I was just. I was just looking. Come on, dog. No, that's clearly not her horse. What the fuck? Man. This road is weird. What is this road again? The blue road? Dude, the blue road is weird. Welcome to the freaking Twilight Zone. Oh my god. What in the world is going on? We're getting double horses. We're meeting strange people on the road who either want to beat our ass apart or say weird stuff and call us a thief, even though, you know, we're not actually stealing stuff. I mean, come on. We, I mean, we have stolen some things in the past, but... I mean, hey, 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 we, we didn't steal from her, exactly. We clicked exit, right? I didn't steal anything. Come on, come on. I'm, I'm an honest person, right? I would never steal from anybody, except when I do. All right. 
let's check out this fantastic uh, rune stone out here. Oh, Umo Guaguay fighties out. Give me the power of the... Oh, no, it's a doomstone. I always forget that's what they're called. The power of the steed, huh? All right, fair enough. Look at that. What is what is that out here in this little pond? Oh, shit, look. By the way, we were just talking about popping. Boom, there you go. How's that for popping? Oh, shit, is there a mud crab out here? Is there about to be another mud crab battle royale? I think so. <laughs> a mud crab battle royale. Yeah, a hundred mud crabs fall down from the plain of oblivion out of the skies rain down onto one island onto Vardenfell. A hundred mud crabs parachute down onto Vardenfell and battle it out to the death. Which will be the last surviving mud crab? Uh, who for the fuck even knows? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, gosh, what would you call it? It's Uriel Septim's, uh, Unknown's Battlegrounds. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a fucking mouthful. Followed up by the, uh, the smash hit, uh, <laughs> Cyrodiil Battle Royale or some shit. Good lord. Alright, let's wait up here. Rest up, heal up. Alright. Whew. Prior Mabel, we've had one hell of an adventure this time. Remember when we were on that nice road that was all serene and shit? And everything was beautiful, the orange road? Notice how they're named after colors, by the way. These are very color-heavy roads. The, yeah, the yellow road? White rose road? The green road? This is like, um... Like in elementary school, you had a whole lot of buses that were just named after colors, because, you know, little kids apparently cannot even memorize a four-digit number. Which is, well, you know, it's true in some cases. True. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I would often forget uh, my lunch number. It's got to be said. Damn. <laughs> I was part of the problem. What can I say? Guilty as charged. You got me. I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at this. Look at all of this. Oh, my gosh. Another serene area. Wow. And what is this up here? What is this, you say? Oh, my gosh. The blue road. Yeah, helping the old, uh, Imperial Guard keep track of shit. Oh no, Prior Mabel is getting a little stuck here. Getting just a little stuck. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Baron Cave, we can be back, we'll be back for you. We'll come back. We already explored one little dungeon. Let's head, let's make sure we finally get to Old Shaden Hall, right? See, it'll be good for us to come on back here and travel through the wilds again. And, uh, explore these sorts of, uh, random-ass caves. Once the Oblivion Crisis has kicked in, that way we can get some randomly spawned in Oblivion games. It's probably another bandit. We've only ever met bandits and highwaymen out here. Yep, here we go. Well, look, there's actually two of them. Oh, no. Look out. Huh. Are these both, uh, Dunmer? I, I wonder if, uh, the bandits, uh, are relevant to, um... Yeah, I think this guy is a Dunmer. I think, uh, the bandits must be relevant to, uh the part of Cyrodiil that you're in, because obviously this one is bordering Morrowind, right? So that kind of makes sense, huh? Shit, man, she really right. tore the fuck up out of my, uh, scampi. Ugh, come on, dude. It's fucking Tango. Shit, I really need to get not scampi out, don't I, for these guys? Because they're both Dunmer. Shit, she's, like, trying to shoulder check me as well. <laughs> scampi, you've done it again, you glorious bastard! Oh my god, Scampy always coming in right at the last second. Truly the Han Solo of this uh, situation. Oh shit. Look at us, what have we done? I can't believe we've done this. Alright, let's see, what should we drop out here? Let's uh, get rid of this shield, huh? There we go, nice. Alright, we'll pick up some of these. Eh, there we go. Fantastic. More lockpicks, always good. Should we should we grab some of these, like, curious stuff? Or these steel bows? Eh, I don't know. We'll pass on them for now. Let's heal up. But yeah, because remember down there next to uh, Black Marsh and um, elsewhere, it was mostly, um, obviously they made a point of it, of uh, Leowin being having a lot of uh, folks, uh, Khajiit and Argonians hanging out there. But uh, around here, so far we've, we've found this double group of uh, Dunmer bandits, which I guess makes sense. Would have been cool to have more of that culture clash going on, though. But still, that's pretty fun to notice in and of itself. How these bandits are uh, very relevant to the area. Up by Bruma, were there also Nord bandits? I can't remember. We didn't actually encounter any bandits going up there, did we? Oh, shit, look. Hey, what's up? Do you have anything to say about this place? Hi. 
Well, take it easy, M- Mivrina Arano. If you want to buy a horse, go inside and talk to Tovas. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't really need one right now. Tell me about Shadenhall, though. Tovas knows his horses, and I'll stay with him and these beautiful creatures forever. Oh, I don't know if that's very sweet and endearing or creepy. Maybe a little bit of both. I like it. Tell me a rumor. They charged me five gold for littering. Littering! I barely make that in a year. These fines are ridiculous. Holy shit, you barely make five gold in a year? Oh my god, what the hell is going on? That's messed up. I'm walking around with like a thousand. Jesus Christ. Jeez, have you ever considered just going out and killing one rat? Because, man, their meat is worth a lot, apparently. Tell me about these fines. Ever since Ulrich Leyland took over the captain of the guard post, this city has gone downhill. It's getting almost scary to walk the streets. Holy shit. The guards have imposed new, ridiculously heavy fines for every infraction under the sun. They almost seem to make up laws just for charging fines. If you can't pay the fine, they can take your property away or toss you in the castle dungeons. Nothing we can do about it, really. Really? Holy shit! If you're shit. interested, go talk to Levana Nadarin. She seems the most outspoken against Ulrich and his new fines. Hmm. Well, holy crap, I'll have to do that eventually. But first, we definitely Me have too. to... We definitely have to go out and do, um... This business with the old, uh... Who's a Watsums? The Mages Guild. That way we can get access to the Arcane University. That is our top priority. Greetings to you. Hey, dude, what's up? Oh, shit, I thought this was a little tiny door for, like, little tiny men. All right, fair enough. Children, a children's annuad. What is this? Gods in worship. A quaint little place they've got in here. I like the uh, the tapestries or rugs or whatever you, you got hanging up here. Very much a fan of that. Nice, quaint little uh, stable. Probably smells like shit, though. It's got to be said. Man, probably smells like a lot of horse shit. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to some of these guards and see what terrible bullshit they're getting up to. Jeez. Oh, uh, it's you. <laughs> hey, what's up, Shaden? We're guard? always on duty. Uh, all right. No, nothing. Uh, g- give me a rumor. There's been some terrible trouble. Okay, yeah, we've heard about that. Directions. Though. What are you looking for? Tell me all about uh, Shaden Hall. Where are the guilds? The guilds are west of the river, south of the west gate. West, west and south. Okay. Uh, tell me about the Grey Fox. Oh, so that means they'll be kind of, like, right in the entrance, right? Alright, uh, tell me about, uh, the Grey... Uh, t- tell me about, uh, directions. What are you what looking for? <laughs> I'm getting lost in his words, lost in his eyes. Jaden all guard, oh my god. Uh, tell me about landmarks. <laughs> the castle is north, on the hill. The guilds and shops are west of the river. The homes are east of the river. Okay. Uh, more directions? What? Services. A smith, bookshop, and general trader are west of the river, near the west gate. Okay. More directions? What you- Where can I sleep? Both inns are next to the west gate. All right. Sure. All right, there see you. Well. See you, Shaden Hall guard. I'm heading on up in. Good old Shaden Hall, huh? Let's see. Where exactly are we in the world? Right by the... The... Vallis... Mountains. Huh. All right. Sure. And what are these? The Gerald Mountains. Okay. Lake Arius. County Shadenhall. Okay. The Reed River. Lake Poppad. The Nibine Basin. All right. Fair enough. Man, I like... I really enjoy this map. That way we can sort of get an idea of the geography, right? I'm, I really enjoy that. It's got to be said. Oh, look at this. It doesn't look very much like Morrowind at all here, though. <laughs> I... Then again, it does look like, um, they sort of, um, the, the Imperial, gosh, I'm getting distracted by their conversation over there, by the, uh, it looks like a, a lot of the Imperial cities in Morrowind, doesn't it? Like, Pelagiad, um, parts of Sidonine, a lot of Pelagiad, a lot of Caldera in here, Ebonheart especially, right? They have a lot of stonework in, in Ebonheart, but mostly thinking of Pelagiad with these, like, sorts of, uh, stone masonry down at the bottom and this whatever the hell you call this is like concrete stucco I, I don't know i'm not a master of architecture i just appreciate it all right get off my case jeez come on give me a break come on come on <laughs> all right where is the mages guild again 
south of the gate, right? West of the river, south of the gate. Yeah, let's head on over there. Jeez, what are we even doing? Gosh, we're getting all we're getting all mixed up and mixed around. Good lord. Should be over by this, huh? Yeah. Man, this looks like kind of a rich ass town, doesn't it? Jeez. Alright. Let's see. Where Hello. is the Mages Guild? Can you spare a coin? Yeah, I suppose I'm so. I'm only asking for enough yep. to feed me kids. Alright, yeah, sure. I uh, have a coin. Thank you, kind sir. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, tell me a rumor. I can't believe the ridiculous new fines the guards are imposing. Ever since Ulrich took over as captain of the guard, this place is going downhill. Hmm. Yeah, Ulrich sounds like a real fucking asshole, Blessings huh? Blessings have upon ye. Are these actually the, uh, Hello. the Mages Guild and stuff? Well met. Said west of... Oh, this is a bank. Hold up. I remember this fucking guy. Oh my god. Sing for me, you beauty! Let me hear your song! Is it you? How are you? Oh, hi. She must be out here listening to him, too. Is it this guy? Flying, flying in the sky. Cliff racer flies so high. Flying. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Oh my god! You gotta love it! It's so good, right? Oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten someone like that? Hello. Now that is one hell of a memorable Oblivion character, right? I mean, I don't even know his name, but he's the, the singing cliff racer guy, right? <laughs> now, if I, if I remember correctly, there is actually, in uh, the, the Elder Scrolls Online, there's actually a dude who sings a song either exactly like that or similar to that, and someone in there gets so freaking pissed off at the guy that they just deck him right there on the spot. It's kind of funny. It is kind of funny. All right, let's look around for the old mages guild. Oh, this must be it. Look, we walked right by it. Little did we realize, hey, blue mages guild, right? That's what, exactly what that means, huh? Uh, here we go. Shade and Hall mages guild. Gosh, the they. This is like a very wealthy looking town, isn't it? Greetings, guild maid. How are you today? Hello. Oh, fantastic. So Thanks for asking. Hey. Fantastic. Don Mattel sure does have oh. a knack for training dogs. I've heard that she will train people as well for a price. To train you to become a Gandalf dog? Gandalf does seem to love her dogs. She taught me a little something about acrobatics, though, which was helpful. Huh. Take care. <laughs> Someone taught Hello, you a little bit mate. about acrobatics? I'm Trayvon, the Red Guard, Mage's Guild Evoker. Surprised? Yes, you don't see many red guards in the Mage's Guild. We don't much like spellcasters in Hammerfell. Wizards steal souls and tamper with minds. If you use magic, you're weak or wicked. Mm. My family didn't approve of my vocation, so I had to come to Cyrodiil for my education. All I right. admit, I still have strong prejudices against necromancy, summoning, and illusion. Profaning the remains or souls of the dead is just wrong, and I'm uneasy about tampering with others' minds and trafficking with Deidre. Sure, okay, yeah, I get that. But uh, at the same time, <laughs> you know, the sort of uh, in-world, like, uh, <laughs> stereotype of, of the Red Guards not being particularly adept at, at spellcasting, I mean... Normally, that's not a problem, but the problem... <laughs> it's a little dicey when you consider the fact... Well, red cards are mostly just black people, right? Ooh, it's a little... <laughs> it's a little problematic. It's probably why they did away with it in more In, uh, not Morrowind, in, uh, Skyrim. Because they thought, you know what? Maybe this is something we can retcon and just improve on a little bit, huh? Maybe. <laughs> you know what? It's a rising road, ain't it? All right. Who is- are you the leader? Do you, can you get me a recommendation? You'll have to get one from Falcar if you can. Right, of course you're not the leader, because you said that you just recently came over here, you right? Too. Who is you Falcar? Erwin? Let's see. Where are you, Falcar? You're Where not Falcar for sure. You. Deetsan? Let's see. Let's look around here. This is a pretty small and cramped uh, mages guild. It's pretty small inside compared to the other ones. All right. Is this, uh... No? Jeez, for it being pretty small, Hello, we are having mate. one hell of a time looking for Falcar, huh? Maybe Hello, they're up sense. high inside of their uh, wizard's lodge, huh? Maybe up here. Hello, Falcar! Are you up here? Man, look at this. 
This looks very quaint and nice. Jeez. Very, uh, very fucking wealthy area, right? Jeez, and Pete. Jeez, where is Falcar? Where are you, Falcar? Are you down here in the basement? I don't even know when we got the Mage's Guild Key, but, you know, we've been able to open up all of these. Must have been when we got the first recommendation. Huh. Don't mind if I do. Falcar, are you down here? Oh, shit, look at all these. Potions of Magicka? What's our carry weight at? Can we actually muster to... Yeah, hell yeah, dude. There we go. Nice. Alright. Needs a key. Okay. Wooden door. Falcar, are you in here? No? Wow, okay. The basement is actually humongous. They all sleep together, though. In the same room. I don't know if I'd want that. Jeez. I mean, it, it, you know, you get all the guild benefits, but I'm not sure if I, if I would want to sleep in the same room with all these folks. I mean, come on. Let's not, uh... What, what if someone just snores a whole lot or, like, farts a whole lot in their sleep? Is this Falcar? Jesus Christ, where is Falcar? Where are you, Falcar? Uh, maybe I'm we should Gita, ask around. Magician. Mage's Guild, that is. Yeah. Do you know where, where Falcar is? I'm afraid you'll have to speak to Falcar about that. Yeah, where where the hell is Falcar? <laughs> Jeez! Bye. Have we just gone right by him and missed him? Are you poking your fucking nose, Erwin? Erwin, the evoker. I'm responsible for enchanted item recharge for the Chaden Hall Guild Hall. All right, thanks. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe one day I'll make use of it. That's Falcar's responsibility. He takes it very seriously. Well, at least we know Falcar is a dude. All right, where are you, Falcar? Jesus. Greetings, Guild. Is Falcar not even in the house? Here, can we track the quest um, the, to get all the recommendations? Join the Mage's Guild. There we go. Let's look around here. Let's see. What the hell? Is Falcar really up in here? Falcar, where the... What? Falcar is in this room? We can't even open this room. Hmm. What in the world? Falcar is up in this weird room. How the hell are we supposed to talk to Falcar then? Here, let's wait until it's morning. Maybe we need to wait for Falcar to come and uh, come up and, you know, rise and shine and all that shit. Wakey, wakey, Falcar, eggs and bakey. Jeez. Just locked away in your strange, like, <laughs> masturbation room or something. Good lord. I mean, hey, at least you locked the door. I don't want to walk in and see that. You know, do what you got to do. I just don't want to be the one to witness it. Good god, man. All right. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, Falcar has left the building. Or left the, uh, left the room at least. What do you? Oh, great. Falcar is a lovely person, as it turns out. What is it, associate? Don't tell me you're here for a recommendation. Oh, my God. You you also look kind of like a vampire. Look fucking like Bram Stoker's Dracula up in here, dude. All right. Tell me about the recommendation. Come on, what do I have to do? Whose dick do I gotta suck? Don't waste my time if you're not ready for this. Are you prepared to do what is necessary to gain a recommendation from me? Huh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. What is necessary? Hmm. Very well. We shall see how prepared you actually are. Wow, okay. There was a particular ring of burden I was testing some time ago. Another stupid associate somehow got his hands on it and managed to misplace it. If I didn't know better, I'd say he purposely tossed it down the well behind the guild hall. Why he would do such a thing is beyond me. Huh. You will retrieve this ring for me. Should you manage to do so, I shall consider sending a recommendation to the university. The well is locked, so you'll need the key. Dietzen should have a copy of it. Now get moving. All right, Falcar. Jeez. All right. Well, holy crap. Let's ask him about the uh, recommendation in Ring of Burden real quick before we uh, wrap this one up. It's not a normal ring, you see. You may find it slightly difficult to carry. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> He sounds so cheerful, but if I remember correctly, this dude's trying to kill us, isn't he? If I remember, because remember I was talking about the, the whole ring in the well? I'm pretty sure this is, this. I mean, obviously this is the one, but I think uh, the uh, the main deal about this, the main uh, whole thing going on with this, is that this guy's trying to kill people because it's a super heavy ring of burden. And it's going to like drown the crap out of me or something like that. Or maybe he's not the one trying to do it. Someone around here is trying to kill me. Let's ask about the recommendation. I believe I explained your task very clearly. Find the ring. 
which is somewhere down in the well behind the guild hall. Bring it to me. All right, dude. Do you understand? Or do I need to use even smaller What words? an asshole. Oh, my gosh. All right. Yeah, sure. Can we ask him about Shade and all in the Mage's Guild? Yeah, let's do that, too. Mage's Guild. The Guild is still powerful in Cyrodiil, but poor decisions in the recent past have weakened it. Perhaps killed it. We shall see. Hmm. All right, Shadenhall, tell me about this place. I am the chapter head of the Shadenhall Mages Guild. It is quite an honor, but they had no choice, since I'm the only semi-competent one here. <laughs> what an ass. What an absolute asshole. Tell me about the rumors. I hear a new associate came to Tikius's aid recently. Something about an old enemy of his storming into town. Hmm. Man, Falcar might be the most douchebag of all the, uh... All the Mages Guild heads, right? The leaders, at least so far that we've met, I think. Yeah, I think so. Could very well be. I mean, there was that, uh, there was what's her butt. But man, at least she was, <laughs> she was trying to brown nose. So I, <laughs> I prefer that to, to uh, old Falcar just being a major doucheroo. All right. Well, find someone else to bother, won't you? Jesus Christ, Falcar. Man, I'm, ter I'm pissed off I even met you. Read any good books oh, lately. look, now they're talking about reading I've any good books. Of oh, jeez. All worship. right. Well, I'm not sure if I like it. when next we come back, I've we will be uh, heading on out to talk to uh, Dietzan here. I'll I probably, in between videos, head back to another town and sell off some stuff because, you know, we haven't really gone around town here yet and explored vendors and all that stuff. I'll pick, yeah, I'll definitely pick up some more uh, hammers from Rashida because we are clean out. I'll at least have ten of them. And we'll be ready to uh, do this finished. major skill quest and probably, if I remember correctly, this one is pretty short. Uh, we will be heading on out as well out uh, westward to Skingrad and then to Anvil, finally. Oh my gosh, look at this. We're almost very nearly getting access to the Arcane University right there. Bam. Awesome. Till next time, take peace. Care. Yeah, take care.